Hey guys, I am back at the bins. If you watched my last fit is it, it was not that successful, but I am hopeful. I am hopeful today that we are gonna go find some good stuff. So let's go in and let's go digging. I don't know what this little guy is. There's no marking on him, but something about him I just love. So I think we're gonna bring him home. If you know anything about him, let me know. Look at these little kissing angels. I've come across these before unpainted, which I think I prefer. Um, so I don't know, I'm not crazy about the bright colors, so I think I'm gonna leave them here. I feel like somebody else will like them as it is. Then look at this piece. Oh my gosh, this is the kind of hand painting I love. It's just a little bowl that somebody painted. The colors are great. It definitely looks like an older piece. I love it. It's going in the cart. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, another little hand done piece. Somebody made this and painted it. You can hang it on the wall. They have hangers, or you can use it as a little trinket tray. Oh, okay. This is a good sign, y'all. This is a good sign. I got three things in my cart over here. Let's see, here's a little swimmer thing. That's a good deal if I needed one of those. <laughs> Because they can get pretty expensive at the store, but I don't need one. See some little kitchen items. Oh, this spoon's interesting. That'd be so cute with a little bird's nest in it. I might grab this to put in a mystery box. See if there's any other interesting spoons. I like kitchen items, but it does kind of have to be special. Oh, I like this too. Okay. I'm going to get these too. I spy some grass. That's cute. All right, that's going in the cart, y'all. This is so, so exciting. I have not been having very good trips to the bins. It's a bunch of Christmas stockings. They're all embroidered. Very pretty, very simple. Just basic Christmas colors. Keegan. Some more over here. Ooh, what are these up here? It's probably pewter, but mm, I'm not really crazy about those trays, so I think I'll leave them here. Toys, binders. What is this? Looks like a little jewelry box that somebody decoupaged. There's some little jewelry boxes right here. This is a little Christmas one. This pattern looks familiar. I don't see any markings on the bottom. In the shoe bin, I found this light fixture. It has two hanging pendant lights, but look how pretty these brass pieces are. I feel like I'm gonna get this and I can use the parts of it to make something else. Probably Thanks this way. So can you see this as a base to so something? Fine. So this is probably gonna be a dollar or two over here. I'm gonna grab it. See a little crocheted blanket. This is cute. It has a cute pattern. It's very bright pink. I think it's something like a sack. Cause it's closed up. What would you do with that? Is it like a sleeping sack? I don't know. And it's not the softest yarn. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. It's not my colors, it's not soft. It's a sack. I see a needlework piece. Let's check it out. <gasps> that is so cute. Okay, I feel like the frame does nothing for it. We don't need a bright pink frame. But how cute is this little frog scene? I love it. It says it's from Joanne Fabric. I think this is from Joanne Fabric too. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna get it though. I like it. Something. I see something. Do y'all see it? <gasps> Look at this. Oh no. It has some stains on it. Oh yeah. Lots of stains, guys. Oh. That is so unfortunate. I love this. Alright. We're finding crocheted stuff today, but some little beads. Ooh, I wish these were black. These are the little hooks that I love to use. Let me see if I can open it up. 
I use these to make my drop cloth curtains. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for y'all. I mean, in the comments. Um, but this is what I use. But I like the black ones. These are kind of more of a bronze browns color. Okay, I was kind of looking through the clothes and I came across these two pieces. Look at this desk lamp. How beautiful. I don't know if it works, but I feel like I'm going to take a chance on it. This would look amazing in my boy's room. It has a very industrial look to it. And I found these. These are curtain rings and then the little finials. Look how cute. That could, oh my gosh, y'all. Put a plant in that hole. That would be adorable so there's two of these and a bunch of these napkin rings and if y'all seen my latest diy these are a little bit smaller than the other ones that i had but these would be great little ornaments for christmas so i'm gonna get them all and we will figure out what to do with them they just brought out a new bin i went digging and actually found something i got this food meal with these beautiful green handles let me put this down so i can show y'all what else this is going to go in a mystery box but it's this cute little ceramic white piece with these beautiful images on it it might be an a cup i'm not sure here's some baskets i think this one goes like this maybe but it's pretty floppy leave that here Ooh, this is a good one that would look adorable with a plant in it i think it originally probably had a candle I like that. What is this thing? Oh, this is somebody's DIY where they hot glued string on there. And this piece. I'm gonna leave that here. Oh, look at this cute little thing. Mrs. Claus Papel. I don't know. It has a candle in here, but I think she's adorable. I think I'm gonna get her and the basket. Here's a bunch of more bins full of Christmas stockings. But again, they're all embroidered. These are some really nice ones right here. Toys. Look at this. Some little glass roses. Some vase. Ooh, this green piece. I love the color of this. I don't think it's an older piece, but it's really pretty. It's a drill bit. Okay. I'm only seeing toys and empty bins down here. It's a bowl. Some pepper shakers. What is this piece right here? I think I don't think it's a older piece and the colors are a little bright for me so we'll leave it here for somebody else that wants it y'all look how precious this is this little boy and mouse and this little girl mouse kissing it is broken though it says made in Taiwan so it's probably an older piece oh I wish it wasn't broken this is so cute hopefully somebody else will rescue it Okay, I decided I'm the one that's going to rescue it. I'm going to see if my neighbor wants it, the one that's getting married this week, actually. On Sunday, she's getting married. I don't think she's going to mind that it has a crack. It's so cute. So we're going to give it to her. I just found these two mugs. I don't know where they're from. I don't see any markings on them, but I love the look of them. So I think I'm going to get these for myself. They're big and the size that I like to drink my coffee. Let me move. They're taking these bins. I'm in the way. All right. They're about to bring out some fresh bins for us to dig through. They take out three at a time and bring three new ones. But you have to line up and wait. And you cannot touch any of the bins until they're all out. So let's go look back here while they do that. Well, they have some doors today. They have a bed. Oh, what is this? some kind of panel it is extremely heavy $7.99 that would work almost as a headboard or something this piece is still here is air table oh they got a little desk right here let's check that out it's very low to the ground 
it is $9.99 for this very heavy wood desk. Can I just have these pieces? Oh, that's why it's so low. The feet's missing. All right, I went dig through the new bins and this is all that I found. I like that they're all the same size so I could maybe do the same DIY on them and have quantity of six. Y'all, look at this mug, how beautiful. I do come across a lot of mugs, but I don't pick up a lot of mugs. They have to be special. There's no markings on this one, but you could just tell it's old and I am obsessed with the typography paragraph right here. So if somebody is from St. Louis, lives in St. Louis, I feel like they're gonna love this. So I'm gonna add that to my cart. And this is kind of random, but they have this whole pile of these super nice little Christmas bags. They were originally $3.24. They'll probably be like 10 cents or 25 cents here. So I feel like I'm gonna get this because the older I get, the busier I get, the less I'm into wrapping Christmas presents and I prefer to just stick everything in a bag. I just found this plate in a bin. It's kind of raised. I thought it was very pretty. So I Google Lens it. It's made in Japan, but it doesn't resale for that much. So I'm going to leave it here. But I think it's pretty. It'll look great as a piece of art or if you have a little plate rack or something, it will look good on there. But I think I would need more than one. If there was a few of them, then um, I'd probably get it. Y'all, look what I just found. I found two of these before. The little cat with the sleeping mouse. That is adorable. These are made in Taiwan. So if you missed out on the last ones I got, I'll have one. I don't see any chips. And my next sale is April 5th, I believe. It's the first Wednesday of every month. All the things that I thrift for all month go up on the website. So y'all definitely set y'all alarms, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, Julie's Designs and Signs dot com. A lot of Christmas stuff out today. But I just like the really good vintage stuff. I haven't really seen too much of that. I just brought out a new bin so everybody's over there digging but it looked like all clothing to me. I just found this. It says country flowers of Scotland. So those embroidery hoops that I found earlier, how pretty would it be to just frame out all of these beautiful flowers? So I'm gonna get this and we are gonna DIY it into something else. And look, they have different castles. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. I just found another mug but this one I think I'm gonna keep for myself it says I started at the bottom and I've been working my bottom off ever since I feel like that perfectly describes me I'm growing I'm getting successful but I am still always working my bottom off what else is in here Ooh, that's cute but it has a big chip right there this one says Texas it's an old Texas souvenir so pretty. I love this part at the bottom. Um, should I get that one? Come on and get your coffee, Mo. Some older mugs in here. Mm, that is the only chip and you really can't even see it. Made in Japan. I feel like I'm going to take a chance. This is just so, so pretty. All right. You get that one. So I got you. If you're in Texas or St. Louis, I got a mug for you. This looks like a whole bin of older mugs. I should probably check for markings, right? This one's interesting. It says made in Japan. The only thing about older mugs is they're so tiny. So I feel like they're more of a decor piece. That's pretty. Let me look closer at this one. The Pierce Hygienic Fleeced Underwear. That's weird. So the coffee mugs I personally like to drink out of is like this size. So you can see the difference between this and that. <laughs> all right, I think that's all the mugs. Well, this is unfortunate. I came across this little colander, but it looks like maybe somebody sprayed it gold. Or maybe that's the grease. I don't know. It's also missing a handle. But it does have the star pattern on it. Should I get it and paint it? I don't know. 
Y'all leave me a comment below what I should do with this colander. I'm gonna save it because they are hard to come across with that store pattern. Well guys, today we finally had a great day at the bin. So I may come back tomorrow because this is very exciting. So if you remember, everything that I got, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what was your favorite item. I was trying to show y'all this, but the cups are kind of in the way. Um, this light fixture, the electrical is all wrapped up. So I think it is brand new. I also found a ton of clothes for me and my family. I got some, this is exciting. I got some American Eagle sweatshirts. I love these and they retail for 50 to $60 brand new. So I got quite a few of those in colors that I don't have. So I hope y'all enjoyed this shopping trip at the Goodwill Bins. I will put a total on the screen of what I spent today and I will see y'all in the next shopping adventure. I decided to come on and tell y'all what my total was. It was $25 for this entire cart full of stuff. That's like getting one of those American Eagle sweaters half off. That's a good deal. It was a great day at the bins. I will see y'all in the next one.